Yo, what's up everybody? So this is a nighttime talk right now. We're going to talk about like generational curses that a lot of these uh, biological families have in North America. So let's say, for example, right, let's say biological families that was born that was born in North America. For example, let's say the mom and dad was born in Louisiana or Arkansas and they didn't have it good in Arkansas, and Louisiana. And, you know, they moved to Washington, Oregon or Idaho, you know, Nevada to make things better for themselves. And then they had children in Nevada, Oregon and Washington. And they moved their children from that was born in Nevada, Washington and Oregon back to Arkansas and Louisiana just to have their children repeat the same bullshit slavery stress and crisis over again that they went through that's a that's a whole proof of like generational curse trauma that the mom and dad has that they have not healed from because usually man let's say for example hypothetically let's say let's say like you know you for example let's say you was born in arkansas right let's say you was born in arkansas and you moved to Nevada to have a better spiritual recharge lifestyle for yourself, right? And you have children in Nevada. And then you move your children from Nevada, the place they was born at, to Arkansas, and they don't fit in. You know, so you can you can tell a lot of people that the mom and dads I was born in Louisiana, you know, they they moved to Nevada, Washington, you know, and they had children there. And their children that's born in Nevada or Washington, not even getting along with the children in Louisiana, you know, and feeling so left out and feeling like they don't fit in and don't belong, it's hurtful to those children. And they have to go through the same BS that their mom and dad that's from Louisiana has went through. And that ain't right. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's so important. You know, if you have children, your goal is to make sure they don't go through the same generational curse trauma crisis that you went through, right? Because I could tell you, man, a lot of mom and dads that was born in Arkansas and Louisiana, to name a few, and they had a child in California, Oregon, Washington, and Nevada, and they moved their child from those places to Arkansas, Louisiana, the, the those mom and dads is from those places. They re, their mom and dads is from Arkansas, Louisiana. They regretted moving their child from Washington, Oregon, California, and Nevada to Arkansas, Louisiana. Like who does that? Like you know what I'm saying? I can tell you for sure, hypothetically. Like yo, if I had children in Oregon, California, or Washington, or Nevada. Man, I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna do everything to make sure they they have the best life they have in those places. Cause shit, if I was the type, <laughs> let's say, man, if I if I hypothetically was born in fucking Arkansas or Louisiana, you know, I would leave them. I would make sure I never go back to them damn places. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause that those places are already hard enough and stressful enough with the corrupted people out in fucking out in, out in the, out in them places. Like Louisiana, Arkansas, you know, and Arkansas and Louisiana is shaped like a damn boot. You know me, I was born, <laughs> you know, y'all know me spiritually. Y'all know I'm from the damn multiverse, the cosmos and shit, you know, universe 21, planet ice world. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, me, I was born in fucking California. You know, I was born in the Bay Area, California, San Francisco, Oakland. You know, I mean, shit, if my mom and dad had like just moved to Oregon and Washington, I would have had a way different childhood. That's for sure. I would have had a way different childhood. I would have loved it better. Shit, I would be more tapped in with my spirituality than I am now because, you know, Oregon and Washington, places like Oregon, Washington and Nevada, the perfect places to enhance your spirituality it's the perfect places to enhance your spiritual recharge you know 
the in, the individuals in Oregon and Washington, man, they're so fucking peaceful. They're so loving. They're not neglectful like and not hateful like, you know, a lot of the soulless individuals out in places like Louisiana. That's for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. Got lovely, amazing people in Washington. And they're just like emeralds in Washington, man. Like real talk, you know?